What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this quick guide, I've got yet another text generation AI for you. This one completely blows yesterday's video out of the water and pretty much anything else for what you can run on your PC. You know of ChatGPT, you know there's a paid GPT-4 service, and of course people are trying to run things on their own home PC. But recently, a brand new model called Vicuna was just released, and this is absolutely beyond incredible. As far as I understand, it was trained on a lot of questions and answers from GPT-4, but the quality of these answers is absolutely astonishing for something that runs on your own PC completely offline. In the description down below, you'll find the project's homepage where they provided a short description of what the project is. And over here, you can see that a simple evaluation using GPT-4 as a judge shows Vicuna 13B achieves more than 90% quality of OpenAI, ChatGPT, and Google Bard while outperforming other models like Alama and Stanford Alpaca in more than 90% of cases. AI is accelerating at an absolutely astonishing rate, and this one was trained for around $300. It is absolutely incredible. You'll find a link to a demo on this page here, but you can chat to it over the internet. It may be a little bit slow. You can choose a model here between Vicuna, Koala, Alpaca, Llama, Vicuna, I'll say hello. And of course, in a few seconds, it'll respond to me. Obviously, if there's lots of people using this demo, then it'll be a bit slower. But that's not what we're here for. You can download and run this on your own PC, and its power is absolutely incredible. On top of this, I'll also show you another program, comedically called Uber Booga, that allows you to customize the experience to a whole new level. It's actually incredible. Once again, the installation steps are manual. You'll need to go to the text generation web UI Uber Booga, which aims to be similar to Automatic 1111's Stable Diffusion, basically a hub where you can run all different models. Already they've got support for quite a few, but the most exciting that they've recently added support for was Vicuna. To download it, you can head to the releases page here, download it, open it up, then you'll download not the original Vicuna model, as this can't be used directly, but a slightly modified version over here and place it in the models folder. Without getting too advanced, I've gone out of my way to create a super simple installation script to simplify this process and get it all done for you in just one line. If you like this way of doing things and want to support me, click the join button down below or the thanks button. Without further ado, here's the command. What you'll need to do is open up a new folder somewhere on your PC where you'd like to install this. Do note it'll take around about 20 gigabytes of space. When you have a folder open at the very top in an empty spot, click and type in PowerShell, then hit enter. Now inside of this PowerShell window, we'll type in IEX brackets IRM Vicuna dot close brackets. This is my second domain and is hosting a PowerShell script to automatically download, extract and install Uber. And on top of that, provide instructions for setting up the Vicuna model. It's all simplified and streamlined. If you'd like to inspect exactly what this does, it's completely transparent. Open this link in your browser and you can read what the code does. Anyways, hit enter when you're happy and you'll see the installer start here. It'll download and install Uber Booga first, and you'll be prompted whether you have an NVIDIA graphics card that you'd like to use or just run in CPU mode. Now, before we proceed, in the folder, you'll see a new Uber Booga Windows folder, and inside of here is the project that you could manually install and set up yourself. But returning to the automatic script, I'll simply enter A as I have an NVIDIA graphics card. It doesn't need to be necessarily powerful. It should adjust to whatever graphics card you have, but I wouldn't try running it on super low-end hardware. Hardware. Then hit enter, and just after that, Micro Mamba will be downloaded, which is a small Python environment. Python is the leading technology in AI, and it'll be set up. In total, I'm not too sure how big the download is, but the file size on your PC should be around 15 gigabytes or so. On top of that, after all of this is set up, it'll download an 8 gigabyte model file, which is Vicuna. Unfortunately, it is rather large, but that's how AI is nowadays. This should be one of the longest steps in this, though it's completely automated. There we go. Eventually, you'll need to hit a key to continue, and just after that, you'll be prompted to copy the text over here, which is the Vicuna model. Simply drag using your mouse around this text and right-click. That'll copy it. Then hit any key to continue, and the model download script will then be opened up. We'll enter L for none of the above, and hit enter. Then we'll right-click to paste in the Vicuna model that we just copied, and hit enter. Doing so, we'll then start the Vicuna model download, which is around 8 gigabytes. Now, this will take some time depending 
depending on the speed of your internet and your connection to Hugging Face, where the model is stored. Press any key to continue, and now the web UI will be started. It's all set up. In the future, should you want to uninstall this, just delete the Uberbooger folder here. That's it. That's all that you have to do. To start it up in the future, simply double click start web UI dot bat. I think I'll probably make a shortcut prompt to this just before it starts in the automatic script that you'll find once again down below. It'll say Y or N, do you want a desktop shortcut? Should you say Y, it'll pop a shortcut on your desktop to start it up for you. Anyways, when it loads up, you'll see this here, running on local URL 127.001.7860 or something similar. If you see an underline when you hover over it, control and click in it to open it in your browser. Otherwise, select it, right click and navigate to that page in your browser. When you get here, you'll see this. Hello there. So I'll say, hi, who are you? Simply hitting enter or generate sends a response and we're speaking to a chat GPT like bot. It's actually really powerful and we'll get there just now. I'm running on a 3080 Ti, but it should dynamically scale to whatever you're set up with. You can see my dedicated memory here is practically pinned to the max, but should you have a lower powered graphics card, it should work there too. I have only 12 gigabytes of VRAM, which isn't a huge amount of VRAM. The 3090, for example, has 24, literally double that. Anyways, what makes this bot cool is not only can we chat to it, but we can type in a prompt here. Another cool thing we can do is replace the last reply as if we were the bot speaking back to us. So I'll say, I am Steve the Lumpjack. I struggle with English and can only speak pirate. My favorite fruit is colon, and now I'll say replace last reply. The bot just said this back to me, or at least that's what it thinks. If I click generate, it'll carry on speaking. And now it's speaking in pirate language. That's great. So I'll say, what is? two plus two, and in chat GPT fashion, it should give me an answer here, though now it's a pirate. That's pretty cool. We can change between Kai chat, chat mode here, and instruct. These are all different ways of speaking to the bot. This gets in depth very quick, but for the most part, you'll likely be sticking to Kai chat or chat. At the very bottom, you can clear your history, and right below this at the very bottom, we have a character gallery where you can set up specific characters and speak to them, loading little saved states whenever you'd like. It's pretty Cool. If we head up to the very top, we have the characters where we can edit these different characters, give them a name, character's name, greeting, which is the default greeting here, followed by context. This is pretty important in setting up the background. I'll quickly head to the interface mode and restart the interface. This will get us back to the default state with our previous chat here. On the character tab where we were previously, we can set up some context here. So I'll take this statement here about being Pirate Steve and I'll put it here in the context section. The character's name is Pirate Steve and we'll change the default greeting. All we need to do now is head back to the text generation tab, clear history, confirm, and now we're speaking to Pirate Steve. Hello, generate. And just like that, it's speaking to us in pirate language. Now, unlike other previous chat models that you can run on your PC, this one seems to have quite a good memory when it comes to things, though obviously it's not going to be anywhere near as fantastic as original full GPT-3 or 4 running on OpenAI's servers over the internet, as that's running on multi-billion dollar infrastructure. And this can also hallucinate where it speaks to itself here as if I'm speaking to it, but for the most part, it is really powerful especially the control that we can have over it with the character tab here. We can set a picture for it and picture for ourselves. We can save the chat history at the bottom here or upload the chat history and upload a character in JSON format or tab in AI format. Pretty cool. I'm not entirely too sure how you can save this page here, but I'm pretty sure you should be able to. It downloads a JSON file that if we open up, it's just our chat on the chat tab. Anyways, parameters, we can customize exactly what happens with the bot and by raising max new tokens and maximum prompt size tokens, we can get more characters in the chat and I think a better memory. We can change the generation parameters preset to one of many here. Obviously, your mileage will vary and you'll need to find what works best for you. We can set a seed for the chat as well, repetition penalty and things like that, similar to COBOL AI, which is mentioned here. And on the model tab, we can change between different models on our PC. Should you want to download more, 
Simply open up the installation folder for Uberburger, run download model.bat, and you can select a model here, otherwise L, and enter the hugging face path. For example, one of these two here. On the training tab, we can get to training this, which is actually really exciting. I'm not too sure how powerful your PC needs to be for this. I assume it should just run on any PC for that matter that can run the generation side of it, though I might be wrong, and I'm not entirely too sure what the data set might need to look like. Anyways, finally, the interface face mode allows us to customize extensions, which is pretty cool. We can enable the Silero text to speech and whisper speech to text so we can speak to the AI and it speaks back to us. And at the very bottom, some command line flags for the program itself. I'll apply and restart enabling speech to text and text to speech. And now, assuming the program doesn't crash, maybe it just needs to reload. Nope, I seem to have confused it. Let's restart it entirely by running start webui.bat. We're back, but it's disabled. Maybe we'll do one at a time. Yep, that seems to be the issue. All right, so we're downloading speech to text here, which we see at the very bottom. We can customize the voice, pitch, and speed. There's tons of options here, which is pretty cool. And I'll enable speech to text, then restart. There we go. Scrolling down, whisper speech to text. We can record from microphone. So I'll say, continuing from where we were, allowing microphone. What are you going to do tomorrow, Pirate Steve? Stop recording, processing, and I assume shortly after, we should see it up here. I think it needs to download the Whisper model first. Yep, there we go. This will only have to happen once. I think this is the Whisper Tiny model. It's only 140 megabytes. Anyways, when this is done, it should process our voice and type in whatever we just said. There we go. You can see the question that I asked it, and it's recording a voice message back to us. That's pretty funny. It's essentially typing out a response and converting it to speech, which I assume I'll hear in just a moment. Er, tomorrow me and me crew be heading out to sea again, looking for treasure and battling any scurvy dogs what cross our path. Steve, you ho ho. <laughs> <laughs> that's definitely not the right voice for Pirate Steve, but that's good enough. Anyways, you get the point. It's incredibly powerful. And the most powerful part about it is that it's able to run on your own PC without internet at all. Though, obviously, don't expect things that come out of it to be 100% accurate or truthful, as with any AI. Though, especially this, as it's not running on, say, ChatGPT hardware with a huge amount of data behind it. This is a relatively small model, small enough to run on your own PC. Anyways, you don't even need a graphics card to run it. You can run it without CUDA at all, meaning you can run it on just CPU only. It'll be a lot slower, but you can do it on pretty much any hardware. Once again, if you find the one-line installation command useful, please click the join or thank you button down below and let me know if I should continue making this kind of content with easy installation scripts. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.